Hi folks, and welcome back to Enshrouded. So, in the last episode we got the very basics done, and we got to our base location, and set up our little flame, um, got a workbench over here, and then we went off and rescued the first survivor, the blacksmith. And uh, one of the first things he needs is to have a roof over his head. So in this episode, we're going to build our first starter base. So with the new mechanics that are involved in Enshrouded, I, I did a bit of research and checked out a whole bunch of videos of people had made during the demo uh, a few months back. And I was particularly taken by a, a little starter cabin base that uh, was from uh, a guy called Chisel Chip, uh, who actually won a competition for his builds during that demo. And it's the kind of base that I like to build in Ark. It's like got a stone foundation with stone pillars as accents and then wooden walls and a thatch roof. And I thought, oh, that's that's just perfect. So we're going to make something very similar to that. We're just going to, we're going to tweak it a little bit, just a bit more to, to my liking. But in order to do that, we need materials. So I've got three chests here now, and in the end chest, we've got plant fiber, wood, and, or what is it, wood logs, and stone. So we had, to, we had to go and gather a lot of them. The plant fiber is just handcrafted. The stone is crafted using the, what is it called, pickaxe. And the trees, you can chop down the trees using your axe. So to craft them, that's crafted in our own inventory. And there we go, an axe is four twigs, one stone, one string, and the pickaxe is four twigs, one stone, and one string. So we've crafted each one of them, and then if you take the the axe, you can chop a tree. And bits of wood will start falling from the tree, and then when the whole tree comes down, there we go, you get wood logs and resin drop out of the tree. Stone, you can either use these little stones that you can go E to collect and you'll get three stones from them. Or you can find one of these bigger stones here that you actually hit with a pickaxe. Again, little lumps of stone will drop off it until it smashes into pieces and then you can pick up these bits of stone. Of course, you can also just go into these into the ground, into the mountain, and just start hitting and get stone from from there as well. So, I've... Ooh, what's that over there? So a health bar popped up. Oh, there's a wolf attacking stuff. Let me bring up that. Let's take out the wolf. Oh, I've got the wrong tool, but this will do. There we go. Save that coming and getting us later on. Did it take something out over here? Okay, right, so that's how you craft or gather your materials. Plant fibre is just these bushes. Uh, that's a berry bush. Not from the berry bush. These bushes over here. These ones here give you plant fibre and twigs. That'll just give you purple berries. This one here gives you plant fibre and twigs. So that, that's how we get our materials. Right, let me put my way. Uh, let me see. Shift R transfers anything that's already in the chest. There we go. Right, but to build, we need building blocks and a construction hammer. So a construction hammer, we craft ourselves, and it just needs one stone for construction hammer. Let me see, let's just... Let me split that. You can't split it, unfortunately, by an exact amount. You kind of just have to do it in half. But if we take that and go craft construction hammer, there we go. And then we'll put that, oh, it's already in our in toolbar, six. And then tab, and then you can see, you can make all these different uh, materials. Alt will bring up all the sizes. So you've got one meter, two meter, four meter building pieces, and then you've got two meter and four meter roof pieces. And then there's some terrain tools down there as well. Uh, so one meter is the smallest block size you can build with, but there's also these preset sort of templates for two and four for both the houses, building pieces and the roof. 
but they all require blocks to to build with so they are crafted in the workbench so depending on the materials you've found in the world so far this list of blocks will start increasing as you find different materials but at the moment by sort of default once you've picked up stone and wood we've got rough stone block and it takes two stone to craft a hundred of them and that's your base material that you build all the pieces from and each pieces will require different amount of stone blocks and there's wood blocks so we're going to start off by just crafting some of these we're going to start off with oh let's see we'll start off with say 5,000 that's probably going to be more than enough for what we need there we go so 50 stone would give you a no 100 stone would give you 50,000 because you need two stone per per block and you get a hundred at a time we're going to need the same with our wood so let's uh, split the stack we'll probably only need oh split the stack We'll do this. We'll do the same wood blocks. We'll just we'll get five thousand of them as well. It's not a big deal if we've got too much because we'll surely use them in another build later on. Uh, there we go. And then we'll just put the rest of the material back in here. Uh, we do have roof blocks to make out of the plant fiber, but we'll leave that for the moment. Okay, right. The problem we have is that when we built the the flame altar is that what it's called um there was no option of we could left right um up and down but we couldn't sort the height we couldn't fix the height at all so it's like as low as it goes in the ground we want it i, I want my base to just be like a couple of blocks higher off the ground just to give the stone foundation a better better look uh, we can snap to there but as you can see you can snap all the way up or all the way down and no, nowhere in between. But if you look in the bottom right hand corner, it says X to use snapping. And it's on at the moment. If we hit X, it's off. And now we can move it up and down by every block amount. So I'll have it um, two blocks high, three blocks high. Let's do it three blocks high. Okay. And now if I put snapping back on again, I can snap to that one and the, you can see that the pattern fills itself in automatically which is an awesome feature but now the problem is the flame altar is far too low down so what we can do there is if we come out here we can commune with the flame and right at the bottom here we can extinguish that flame so click that are you sure this will reset your protected area yes It'll now go to take 30 seconds of a timeout before that disappears. So, we can leave that. I'm going to have to make another one. So let's, uh, let's take some more stone. V flame altar craft. And then put that back in there. Right, there we go. It's That's its 30 seconds up and it just disappeared. Right, so there's the flame altar. Let's put it on our on our bar. And now we can snap it at the same height as... Or you could switch off snapping and have it one down. Or well, maybe you can't actually. No, we'll have it... Oh no, I've put it in the wrong place. I'm, I'm one block out. But that's okay, because what I can do is I can just now pick up all these other ones that are in the wrong place and I can now snap them to the altar there we go so let's do a 3 by 3 around the altar itself like that and then I actually want it to be five by three so I want it longer this way so we'll get, put them down there we go right the accent pillars that I want to put 
in between the wall pieces we're going to use these pillars here and you can just see that when you put a piece on it the blue foundation piece just kind of glows underneath it and I want these to be I want to switch off snapping because I want them to be half on one and half on the other uh, and at full height like that there we go and then same here where's the there's there's the blue bit so half on one half on the other and then work my way around do it over this side as well oh these are too small they'll put them too far into the ground let's remove them try that again the thing you can put it down into the ground as well as up so you want it just above and then snap it down in place right so because these pillars are using one away from this block and one away from this block if I put one in the corner that means it's going to be one block in so that little bit of wall space is going to be smaller than that or all the other bits of wall space so I actually want this edge, the, the shorter edges, to be one block further out. So the good thing is that we can do this. If I put it in, so if I put a block over here, you can see in the in the center of the screen, it says I've got 1,204 blocks, and this foundation will take 256 blocks to craft. But if I put it here, you can see that because it's only got to use the blocks that it needs, the number of blocks that you've got to use to craft drops down. So I can actually place a whole 4x4 piece here with just that one block sticking out the edge, and it's only got to thir use 32. There you go, blocks. Now let's do the same here, and the same there. So that's it, just one block longer at that end. And one block longer at this end, and that's that's just to make the wall gaps be be the same. Uh, oh, those those are awful! Look at that step downs. Let's delete that and let's delete that and try that again. There, there, that's better. There, and then we can put one in the corner, and one in this corner, and then I want one there. So between each wall piece, I want a pillar. And I want a full height pillar. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Right. So there is our floor with the pillars between each piece now a uh, up in the sort of upper right you can see we're using rough stone block at the moment so hitting control and scroll wheel you can scroll down to the wood block so we now got to start building with wood and i scroll my wheel along the bottom to option one and we're going to make a little sort of patio area out of wood just that three by one like that there we go and then right on the front when we scroll to eight and then r to rotate we're going to put a stair down and then out the other side we're going to make a back door here so let's put a stair down uh, let's switch on snapping. There we go. So we've got a door in and out. So this is going to be our front door. So we're now we're now using wood to build the walls. So we've got scroll to four and use a rotate and use a wall piece and we've got to bring it in one one bit. Oh, I've got my snapping on. We get it up full height. And we're bringing it in one block so that it's flush with the inner of the stone and the pillar sticks out from the other side. There we go. Now, 
we'll put a window in here and we'll center that so you can see that the the wooden block is kind of one block into the stone pillar on either side but then it because that stone is there it won't use the blocks of wood and it'll craft like that and we've got stone same same here this is the one that would be one small one it would be one block too small if we didn't add that extra block on so put that there now continue to put the walls in Okay, there you go, we've got the walls in, but what I have done is I've put, instead of a door here, I've just put a solid wall, instead of a window, I've put a solid wall again. Just to show you, what you can do is you press Alt, go all the way up to the top and pick that one meter block. You can, as well as left click to put the block on, so you can add blocks one block at a time like that, you can right click to take them away. So you can punch a hole so you can see that window is 3 by 2 so you can just right click and you can punch a hole out and you can create an exact same window using that method same with the door, the door is a 4 by 5 so we can come up here and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3 eh, well, 4 sorry, can't count and then we can just take that away, and there we go. We've made a we've made the exact same door frame that we've got over here, but we've carved it out of a wall. Okay, right. It's a way to get dark now, so I'm now going to wait for it to become daylight, and I will bring you back when it's daylight. Okay, the sun is now rising, so hopefully it'll be bright enough to be able to see what we're doing. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to trim off the the top of these walls with some more stone. So we're going to go select stone. We've got, we've got the single one meter block. And we're just going to connect the top of these stone pillars across like that. There we go. And then we'll fill in the corner each side. So here is just kind of put a block in, but I'm not sure why it does this, but on other sides, it will actually smooth that into a, a nice angle. So I'm just going to do that for each one of these units now, all the way around. Okay, there we go. So you can see here that it's kind of a bit blocky in the, the area here, but if we come around the side here, it's got nice sort of 45 degree angles, and the same on the back. So why it doesn't do it to all, all four sides, I'm not sure. I guess it's something to do with the Vauxhall system. Vauxhall? The vo Vauxhall. Right, okay. So now we need to do the, the next floor. So we're going to start that with stairs. So I'm going to go to the two meter scroll along to the stairs and we'll change the material to wood and we just kind of have to get that to snap that go against the wall it's not quite in the wall mm. 
Yeah, that one looks like it's in the wall, and then we just need another one. Down, and all the way down. Mm, actually, that's a bit too close to this wall here, so I'm just going to remove that, and we'll bring it over. Right, yep, that looks good. And then another one here, and then all the way down to the floor. So we can go up the stairs. Right, and then we scroll along to six, where we have ceilings, and we'll change that to the four meter one. Uh, I hope it's on seven, okay. All right, and what I'll do is I'll sink it in, and we just want it to be like half, half in the wall enough Come on, sink down. Oh, that's too high. There we go, that's the one. Right, and then we just sort of walk our way along. Again, you don't have to worry too much. You see it's going to be 48, 32. You don't have to worry too much because uh, it'll just use the blocks that, that it needs. All the way across like that. Put it in there, there, and then up to the stairs. We'll flick over to the two meter now, just to fill in this little bit here. You see, it's got little gaps, but you can just fill them in like that. And then, nope, not there. like that gives us enough space uh, and then I'll flick back to the four just to fill in these holes in the middle there we go and it completely completely seals it let's see can we get we can get down but I think just visually that looks like it's too small a gap so I'm going to change over to the one meter block and I'm just going to right click and remove that row there. There we go. That just looks better as a, a gap to go through. Okay, so that is the the first floor done. Now we need to put a roof. So we're going to have to make some roof pieces. So we'll take... Uh, let's split that stack. Plant fibre roof blocks. So it needs five to make a hundred of plant fiber. So let's just make it's a thousand. We'll try with that. We might need to make a little bit more. This is the fiddliest part of the whole build, getting these roof pieces. So if we select and go down to four meter roof pieces, we have a normal slanting roof. We have a corner piece. We have an inverted corner, and then we've got a, a ceiling peak and then end in a, a straight roof top as well so we're going to start off with a four meter where's the front there's the front there so we're going to put that on the back so we're going to rotate it around and we want it to be right on the corner there so check it's not hanging over too much that's right and the wooden beam that it puts on automatically as the edge is just right on the edge of the stone. So that's, that's perfect. Now we need to bring that all the way along. Right, there we go. So we've got a nice straight edge along the top. The wood beam is hanging right on the edge at both sides. So that's, that's the right for that one. Right, now we rotate this round and we put it on the exact same place on the other side. So it's not hanging over too much and the wooden beam is right on the very edge. And we do that in this corner as well. Uh, wooden beam's right on the edge and it's not hanging over too much. There we go. Right, but to make this fit, if you remember, we added one block to the end 
So we're going to put a peak in the middle here, and for that to actually match, we have to add the one block's worth back in. So we're going to just add... there. So it matches along the top, but it's one one further in. And we'll do the exact same here. So it matches along the top, and it's one further in. So that's that should be perfect. Right, now the really hard part is we have to try and place these pieces so that they meet at the top. So that looks like it's an extension there, and that looks roughly about halfway there, so we'll put that there. And then we'll rotate it. This is the really fiddly bit. Uh, right, so they don't meet at the top, so they're not quite long enough. Also, that one doesn't stick out. So let's delete that piece. And try again. Right, so you could tell it's meeting at the top because this beam has appeared in the middle. But it's it's one short, so it's not got we haven't got the beam right at the edge, so we just have to try and get that to line up like that. No, nope, no, nope, we've ruined it. We've taken the beam away. Let's take that one away again. It's just a lot of little fiddly No. Oh, because it's too high up, that one, that's why. So, let's go. There we go. So we've got the wooden beam all the way up there, and all the way down there, and the wooden beam across there. That's fine for the moment. Right, now we need to do the same at this side. Okay, right, we're happy there. They've got wooden beams up both sides of the roof and the wooden beam to me means they're meeting in the middle correctly. Right, so now we have to use the inverted corner piece and we rotate that round and we have to get that to snap to that edge there. Looks like there. Yep, that looks good. And then the same on the other side. that. Right, and now I need to finish off the back side so we've got something to line it up with. So we just have to get this one to line up. So that's the back all lined up. We've got a straight edge along the top. Right, now to make these parts meet, we'll go back to the inverted again, rotate it around, and we just kind of have to place it on top of here, but get it up a little bit higher. Like that. And we know it's right because we've got the beam there. And then we we'll rotate it around and do the exact same thing here. We're out of plant fiber blocks. And to have to make a little bit more. Let me take a bit more of that. We won't need an awful lot more. Let's see if that does. You can see it starting to come together now. Back up on the roof. Back in build mode. There we go. Oh, no, something's not quite right because there's 
not a beam across there. Oh, actually, it looks actually okay. Something a bit... No, it's not too high. But it's not put a beam across, which is a bit weird, but never mind. Right, now we just have to fill in this holes. So we go back to the slope, but instead of four meter, we want the two meter roofs. Because we just got a little gap to fill. And we just patch in these little holes. Here we go. And here. Like that. And then rotate that round. And we just have to match up this bit here to get a peak. Here. There we go. And it, it joins up at the top. Okay, so that's our roof done. I was expecting a beam to be out the front there. Let me just... Yeah, it looks... It looks right. But I thought there would be a beam. Okay, never mind. Right, so we've ended up with too many roof blocks, but we're okay. Right, now we have to close in those gaps, so let's just pop up here. We're going to continue the stone... Uh, what is it? Four meter... no, not four meter roof, four meter pillars. And we'll change the material back to stone, and you can just see where the square of the stone is there. So we need to place it on top of there, and have it just going into the roof. Like that, and no more. And then same over here. Which just leaves that one block gap. But we can easily fill that by going up to our one blocks. And... Put one in there. Can't quite get it. One there, one there. Fell out, fell out the wall. Oh, that's why, because that, that pillar is in the wrong place. It's too far out. Right, so we need to click back to the four meter pillars, and then we can right click to remove it. And let's take that one block away as well. Back to the four meter pillars. down a little bit. There. Nope, that's wrong as well. That looks better. Right, fill in that one block in there. And one block in there. There we go. So that's got the pillars all the way up. Now, to fill in these bits, we're going to go to the two meter bits. And there's this little stepped wall here. Change that to wood. Rotate it round. Now, so there's a line of stone and then the first line of wood is where we're putting this. And we're just going to move it until it goes into the wall like that. So it's on the wooden bit, not on the stone bit, but it's into the roof. There we go. Rotate that round, do exactly the same at the other side. Okay, and then we we'll swap to the little two meter walls. And... Fill that in there. Fill that in there, and then we'll have one here, one here, one here, one here. Flick back the step walls. And then we can just fill in that gap, that gap. Rotate it round, that gap, and that gap, right. 
Then I'll punch out a window, so we'll flick back to the one meter and we'll come two blocks up and then we'll start punching out a window right across. Three high all the way across. Like that. We'll get, get windows to put in there. Right, now we just do this exact same thing with the other two openings. Okay, there we go. The the ends are all filled in and the holes for the windows are cut out. Something else I'll just add in here, just using some single wooden blocks, is I'll put a little fence across there uh, on this corner. Just a little banister to protect you from falling down the stairs. Okay, right. One final bit for the upstairs is we're just going to line the top part like we've done the bottom part. So switch to single stone blocks again. Uh, and then go just above the hole for the window and put in the corners like that. I'm going to do that for the other sides as well. Right, there we go. Uh, we're now going to do some work on the little porch here, a little patio bit. So we're going to cut out... Uh, I want I want them to be lined up with that one, so we're just going to cut out the the end two two blocks uh, down down down, and then we're going to fill them up back with stone, make them flush, and then down like that. So there's a little. Can you go underneath that? Can we get any further down? Nope. That little pillar matches that pillar there. And then do exactly the same here. So, let me see. This row here. We're going to chop out four there. And there. And then fill that up with stone. There's a little 2 by 2 there, and exactly the same with this side. There we go. Right. Now what we can do is we can swap to this 2 by 2 wall block and stick a 2 by 2 wall block on top of each one. Again, out of stone. And that just looks like a, a stone pillar going all the way down into the ground in between. 
And finally swap back to the 1x1, one one, change to wood, and then we'll take one up. Oop, oop, I made a hole in the wall. There we go, try that, fill it back in again. Like that, and just do a little fence along here. Like that, and then we'll do it the other side. little fence. Okay, I'm going to have to wait for daylight again so we can see what's happening. Ooh, the, the moon it just got really bright there. It's morning again and we're very close to being finished. Uh, I just want to make some little trimming on the stairs here. It's a little cool effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to take away the first wooden block from the edge of the stairs and we're going to replace it with a stone block. And then we put one more on top of that. Oh, that missed. There we go, and then same with the other side, we're going to take away that one, that one, and that one, and replace it with stone. And then put one on top of each of them, which makes like a handrail going up which is a nice little nice little feature can we get one down can't get one down any lower there then we'll do the same at the other side there we go uh, can we get one down and no we can't well maybe we can no we can't it's the same height Okay, that'll do. Right. Last thing we need are doors and windows. So they are actually crafted in this workbench. Uh, where are the decorative doors? So we've got a double door or a single door. It just needs wood log and string. Windows just need wood logs. So if I go into here, we can drop off all our blocks that we're finished with. And I've got enough stuff here. Should be enough for the doors and windows. Doors, we need two. Windows, we need... Oh, oh I, need, I need more wood. I need more wood. I've got three. I think I need... I think I need 23 if I worked it out at. Let's craft up 23. Right, so the door is here. You can rotate it. I want the handle on the right hand side. Like that. I'm touching the altar. Let's see. Go do the other door. Yeah, rotate that. There we go. Right, now we just need to put the windows in. Windows are on the other hotbar. Right, and they'll just fit in those little gaps, the two by threes. Rotate that round. Uh, it's a bit difficult to fit it in there. Might have to do it from the outside. Let's do this one. And they go nicely right in the middle of the the block as well. Oh, that one missed. But you should be able to pick them up. That's better. Right, let's get the other windows fitted. Okay. Just that one on the outside. Need. Yep, this one here. Hey, come on. There. There we go. Nice windows. Right. One more thing I'm going to do, and hopefully we've got what we need. Illumination. Let's make 
couple of wall torches. Because in the ground floor, this flame altar gives enough heat and light for this whole ground floor. So it's not too bad. But upstairs at night time, it's completely dark. So let's just place one above each window. Some weird lighting effects coming coming through. There we go. That'll just light up the top floor. And I've got two left. And I do like to have little torches either side of the door frame. Lighting up the building. And there we go. That is our little starter base, little two-story starter base. Stone foundations, wooden walls, thatch roof, which is the exact combination I like to do in arc if I'm not needing to be protected. Right, now we can hold E to pick up the, the workbench and we can move the workbench inside. Let's put it in front of this window. And then if we use the summoning staff, we have the summoning staff, it must be in one of my chests. Nope. Not that one. There it is. We can resummon inside. And now he's sheltered inside and uh, he can craft this stuff but we will worry about that in the next episode there are other things so this comfort items here so beds tables fireplace chairs benches they all add to your comfort so if you look in the top left hand corner it now says comfort level six it was five when we built the house but putting those torches illumination has put it up to six and that adds another minute onto your rested buff. So every level of comfort you put up, you get your longer rested buff. So we'll need to craft some of those items and uh, boost up our boost up our comfort. We'll also those are the simple storage chests, so you can't actually move them. But we can off of here now. We can now craft small chests instead of the tiny chests that we've got outside. Small chests that hold. A bit more items. Uh, we just need some nails that the blacksmith can craft us, and we can get some storage sorted inside. Um, but then we can get ready to get our gear up and head off to do the elixir well, the first adventure. So we'll do that in the next episode. We'll get geared up, and then we'll we'll head off and we'll do the elixir well in the next episode. But for today, that's going to do it. We've built our first little starter home, and uh, I, I really like the look of this this hut. I'm, I'm very impressed with the building in in this game but that's going to do it for today thank you so much for watching if you liked the video please hit the like button hit subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode bye now